welcome today to our ribbon cutting for Ital Polina USA and our uh, inaugural plant in the United States in Indiana and of course the city of Anderson. And we're excited that you're here today. Uh, it's really, um, uh, well, the energy that you feel in the room has been the energy that's been from the beginning. Uh, when we started five years ago with Ital Polina, it's just been an exciting run and um, it's great to be here. I want to uh, recognize a few people this morning uh, as we begin. First of all, um, the setup and the logistics of the day, uh, fantastic. Uh, somebody asked me earlier, John, you must have been working feverishly. Uh, really a lot, of, uh, a lot of thought and energy to pull all this off. I said, you bet, I was out of town all week. So we had a couple of folks from uh, the mayor's office, Darla Couch and Samantha Pankel, and from Midtown Plain, Stephanie Gerber and Monica Johnson. And they, uh, they have orchestrated this. Uh, it's a fantastic job. How about a round for them this morning? Yes. And uh, yeah, so did a great job, and we, we appreciate that effort. So also want to recognize uh, Kevin Schultz. Uh, Kevin is with uh, U.S. Senator Susan Brooks's office. Uh, also, we have us, uh, the privilege of uh, one of our state representatives, Terry Austin, is with us today. Uh, so we're glad to have her here. Everybody here, of course, knows Mayor Broderick uh, well. He embraced the project immediately. He went to work uh, and uh, wanted to uh, keep the progress going and offered his assistance in any way he could. Uh, even in team transition, we just really didn't miss a beat. And it was uh, an excellent job uh, by him and his staff. And, we, ap we appreciate that. So uh, with that, uh, I want to introduce Mayor, uh, Mayor Broderick, Thomas J. Broderick, Jr. Okay. Thank you, John, and uh, thank you for those kind words. Uh, this is really uh, an exciting day here today in Anderson. I was talking to uh, Corey Sharp a few moments ago, and, and he indicated, he says, you know, what a great day for, for Anderson and how true, how true that is. Um, when, uh, when that election cycle came around and, and passed, as John was referencing a moment ago, uh, shortly after the election in November, I was approached by, by Greg Winkler, and Greg and I had been, been speaking shortly after that to sort of carry on the transition, if you will, and he brought me up to date on some of the projects that uh, we were in transition on, and one of them, of course, was, was this particular project, uh, Topolina, and it was in its pretty in early infant stages, and he wanted to make sure that it was something that we would continue to be on board with as an administration. And I assured him that we would, and we continued that. And I'm, I'm pleased to hear that the, the feelings on the side of a Toplino was that they didn't really notice uh, any, any, any change in the beat and, and continuing forward to make sure that this would become uh, the reality it's become today. As you know, a Toplino is, is a global leader uh, now, and they are, this particular, with this particular plan of production going in place, uh, it is making them. Uh, the, really the production leader uh, of these products in the world. And in talking to, to Luke a few minutes ago, it was really exciting to hear that not only are they producing here in Anderson this product, but on top of that, they are not just distributing it here in the continental uh, North American continent, but they're also going back internationally and exporting back out. And I, probably Luca will speak about some of this here in a little bit, so I don't want to take away from what he might say, but it's really exciting to hear that not only are we coming from Italy to do this production, but then turning around and exporting back to other places overseas, including Italy. So that's really pretty cool to, to know that Anderson is right again back in the mix of this global economy, which is where we were so many years ago. And now through fighting hard, we've come back to, to be here yet again. Presently, Italia Polina is in 80 countries. They have in 80 countries, five production sites, one of them right behind us here two research and development centers. And as Luca may uh, talk about here in a little bit, plans to do more in research development, again, right here in Anderson, Indiana. And of course, they have commercial offices spread clear out throughout uh, the world. And so again, we're very proud to be part of this. Uh, I want to acknowledge a few folks. I'm gonna knock everybody, because almost everybody in this room sitting here today has something to do with the reason that we're sitting here today. But I do want to acknowledge John Paul and Bill Fredericks, both of who are instrumental in assisting in the putting together of the financing package that helped make this possible here today. This overall is presently at a $10 million project. 
It started out to be a little bit smaller than that, but we added to it from time to time and made it really a first class operation. And you'll see that when you have a chance to go in here in a little bit. You're gonna be extremely proud uh, of what you see and the efforts that Luca and his team have, have uh, put together. But we're very proud to be part of the, the effort here as well. I wanna also acknowledge and thank the members of the Redevelopment Commission that are here. There are several here today. Kevin was already acknowledged, Mike's here, uh, Dick's here, uh, there's more. Anna Marie, uh, council, is here uh, for the, the Redevelopment Commission. Again, this couldn't have happened without their, uh, their efforts as well. We're so proud of the, the commitment that, that Luca and his team, and particularly I want to acknowledge only Luca, but also, uh, also his, his wife, uh, Dara, who's, who's here. I don't know if Dara's here, but yes, she is. Yeah, right there in front of me. And uh, appreciate uh, everything that they've done working together. And of course, Dara's part of, the, part of this organization as well as the chief financial officer and uh, their children, who, who children are three now, which I guess are really probably leading the show, right? Uh, making sure everything's done right. But it's really, it's really exciting to know that these folks have, have come from, from Italy and chose Anderson as a place to do business in Indiana and of course the state of Indiana. So thank you again for choosing us and we look forward to working very closely with all of you. I also want to, to note that the commitment that Tal Polina is showing to the community as a whole, as leaders and in support of our community is overwhelming. As a new business uh, coming here, for example, just this last couple of months or so, they got involved with our annual Mayor's Ball in which we raise money for local students and local teachers, and they were instrumental in coming to the table both financially and in partnering with us to make that a reality. And so we look forward to continuing to work with them, their innovation, their quality, their efforts towards uh, production that is environmentally friendly is really second to none. And so again, welcome on behalf of the city of Anderson. And at this time, it is my pleasure to introduce to you, Luca Bonini. Luca. Thank you very much, first of all, for all of you being here today. It's a, it's a very important day for us, really. And maybe you can feel also my excitement uh, from my voice, uh, because uh, who could know that uh, five years ago, when uh, we started a company just as a commercial subsidiary of Ital Polina, we could have been opening a plant here in the United States. I think that when uh, I met John for the first time, and we were planning about uh, our commitment uh, to the US market, uh, we were not planning immediately to to have a plant up and running or to have such an investment. But uh, I think that uh, thanks to his job, thanks to the job of uh, all the people that joined the Italpolina team, they made that possible. So I'd like first to thank all the Italpolina people that are here today, that could not make it today, but they are working outside and uh, they are here in the US. I'd like to thank them first uh, for the great job that they've done. Thank you very much. Then I'd like to thank uh, the city of Anderson. Well, you have uh, uh, heard all the names of the people that helped us uh, in uh, putting all this project together. But I feel more committed to thank uh, the people of, of Anderson that they accepted us here in, uh, in their city. They gave us the possibility to build uh, such a plant. So obviously I'm, I'm uh, thanking Mayor Broderick, uh, the council members, all the people that work, but really, first of all, from my heart, the people of Anderson that help us uh, in, in this project. Thank you very much. <laughs> then, uh, as a personal standpoint, and you will allow me that uh, little deviation, I'd like to thank uh, one uh, special person for me, my wife. And I'm a little bit excited now. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, without her support uh, and her help, uh, I think it was impossible for me thinking uh, uh, some years ago to come here and, uh, and do this project. So, thank you, Sarah. Okay, now enough uh, <laughs> sweetness uh, right now. <laughs> so, <laughs> we can talk about, about the future. So, as Mayor Broderick said, we have uh, a lot of projects uh, going on 
for the US market and uh, specifically for, for Anderson. As you know, this was the first phase that we were planning to do, uh, our first commitment to a first production plant here. We are now working on expanding the production to a phase two uh, building that we are working right now on uh, the idea. We already know which will be the products that we are going to manufacture there, and it will be a pretty unique uh, technology and product that we produce here in Anderson to export uh, uh, worldwide. We have not come with a project yet, so Bill, take it easy. Don't worry <laughs> for a moment, but uh, we are going to work on that. It's a promise that we are going to accomplish. And about promises that uh, we have accomplished, uh, we, we like also to, to, to say that thanks of uh, the job of a lot of people, the people that helped us building the plant, building the building, etc., we were able to over exceed our expectations in, in investment here in Anderson. So we are, we are glad to, to be able to say that right now. So you can be sure that our commitment will continue in the future. Our plan for next year will be, uh, and we are currently working on that, on a new research and development center, because we want Anderson not only to be a production site, but also a site where we develop new products and new technology. So we are working right now on just across the road to build a new uh, research and development center, which will include uh, a greenhouse to test our products and uh, uh, different labs, uh, biochemistry, microbiology, biology, and chemistry to study and develop new, new formulas and new products for the US market, and as I said, for, for, uh, for abroad too. This is what uh, is going to happen in the future. As I said, our commitment uh, is uh, stronger than ever here in Anderson. And again, I thank all the people that helped us. It's going to be long to name all of them. So please uh, forgive me if I'm maybe forgetting somebody or not telling everybody. It's been really a team uh, working together to make uh, this project uh, up and running. Uh, in these last years. And as I said, it was just five years ago that uh, one person believed in what I was telling, John Lehman. So thank for him for, for believing to all we were planning for the US market uh, to build something that was unique because you can be sure that what we have done here in Anderson is unique in the world. As Anderson for me is unique in the world. Thank you very much again.